Increasing students' motivation, that's uh, the, the largest thing there is and uh, because of that they improved their language, they improved even their mathematics because some of the exercises were at a higher level than they're used to because we also had uh, students that were a little bit older than, uh, than my students. So the level was sometimes a bit higher but that, that even increased their motivation even more because they wanted to know uh, how to do that. So I explained things in my second grades that I normally explain in my fifth grade uh, lessons. And I don't know if they totally understood it like that, but I think they, they picked it up and when I do it again in the fifth grade, I can say, hey, you did this at your project, and you can refer to that. The, the, the pupils make the project, I think. Uh, the teachers can be uh, as, as, as enthusiastic as they want to, but if the pupils don't want to, to be involved in the project, then nothing really happens. But in our case, the pupils were involved. Um, we started with a local contest and they liked it so much that they, they made it their project. And uh, they wanted to do more and more and more. And they, they, they keep asking questions, uh, uh, when are we going to, do, uh, to be working on the project again? And uh, when I said, no, this is a normal mathematical lesson, they were almost disappointed. Keeping it simple, you should start with a smaller project, maybe a couple of months uh, tops, and then it's easier to, uh, to find partners. Today we received uh, the e-twinning prize for the category 12 to 15 years old, and after that there was another big surprise because we even were voted the best projects all around e-twinning for 2011, so made us very proud. Uh.